quick changes, because we've only got two lines, so quick changes, you guys. Hay River and Fort Smith are two of our southernmost communities. They're tied into the road network, so they have the advantage of being able to drive down. In the case of Fort Smith, it's about an 11-hour drive to get here, and then for Hay River, it's about eight and a half hour drive. So it's not a short drive, but for us northerners, that's a, actually a pretty reasonable drive. Our hockey season is a little difficult this year because we don't have an arena. So we're uh, playing ball hockey in the school gymnasium twice a week. Uh, we've been to Fort Smith for one practice and uh, and hopefully getting some more practice in Smith and getting a few tournaments. Skate it! Well, I haven't played hockey in a while and it's always fun to come down and play some hockey and have some competitive games and like our team hasn't like had much practice. We've only been in the gym playing four ball so it's a little tough to come down here and play some nice like tough hockey. We don't have a rink so we don't get to play on the ice lots and it's gonna be really really fun. Our only chance to play is when we travel to tournaments. So typically we travel to three tournaments a year and host our own. So we're playing um, 16 to 20 games a season and then practicing. We get a lot more practices than games. Well, we raised about $7,000. Uh, so a lot of fundraising. So it was, uh, they did it over, mostly over the summer. But the opportunity, it just outweighs the, you know, the, the cost and the effort. So it, uh, it was neat. To, it's, it's an opportunity these kids don't always get. So being from where we are. Well, when we first heard from Hockey North that our team was going to have this opportunity last spring, I mean, our entire, our kids were started getting excited as of that moment. They were so thrilled to, just to get the chance to watch some games at the U17 World Championships, let alone then get to play an extra best match of their own, because uh, ice time has been pretty limited for our kids in Hay River this last little while. So, yeah, just from the first moment Hockey North uh, made this opportunity possible for us, we were, we were just on board. We had our hotels booked the next day, and they've been counting down the days to the trip. I'm just really excited I'm watching really good players and really good hockey. Give us a reference of like how to play, like you know, and it'll be cool to watch. We find our kids though get a tremendous lot um, from the travel, which is an excellent opportunity. It's family time. Um, there's those moments in the car, you know, looking at a bison out the window at uh, five o'clock in the morning on the way to Fort Smith or wherever you're going that are that are pretty neat shared moments. Um, the experience of seeing the kids working together as a team again in a completely different environment um, is really neat and just the, the knowledge that this is what you do for the love of the game, it's in all of their hearts. Seeing these kids come here and have the, the smiles in their faces and their parents too, it's a lot of work for parents to come to these events, it's a lot of travel, they're, out of, they're paying for a lot of the expenses themselves but they're doing it for their, their kids and their family because they, uh, they see the value in it and so yeah these events just help put that exclamation mark on why we do what we do.